it's Megan here at Best Web and Tucker with another one of our Making with BBT craft videos. And today we are going to make giant snowflakes out of paper lunch bags. Um, we have craft kits for these available at Best Web and Tucker. We were making some here for the shop um, for our winter decor and we thought, oh, we'll put some kits together for everyone to play with. Um, so you can stop in to pick them up um, or you can message us on our website or through our Facebook or Instagram pages and we can ship them right to your door. Happy to do that for you to give you a fun afternoon project. This is a beginner project, great for kids. Um, it does involve some heavy duty cutting with scissors. Um, so you might need some parent help with that part of it, but otherwise it's a glue stick and I know, um, toddlers all the way on up to teens would love to dive in with this. Um, so if you have a kit from us, you will find a stack of 12 bags. It'll have a template, a piece of string in case you want to hang um, your snowflake when you're done, and a glue stick. Um, from there, let's get started. Okay, so this will not... Um, be the full length step-by-step -step video um, because I already have some of it done um, for you. So this will be a quick five minute video of something that will take you 15 to 20 to actually do. What we're going to do to start with is separate our bags into two stacks of six. Um, so six and six, they will not be pre-cut for you. They're going to look just like this. Um, from here, you're going to grab your glue stick and you are going to glue those bags together. Um, some important things to think about is you want to make sure you get the edges and you want to make sure all the bags are going in the same direction. So see how I have this flap here? I have that facing down. I glued one, put the flap down, glued another one, put the flap down. I'm going to glue this one and I'm going to make sure this flap is down. Okay, so let's dive in. Um, when I'm pressing with my glue stick, I'm not pressing super hard, um, but I want to make sure it gets covered and I'm really concentrating on those edges because I want this to stick, especially on the edges. And you can go in straight lines like me, you can go in loop-de-loops, whatever, there's no, there's no perfect way to glue this. Um, and it's invisible glue, so the purple will dry clear. Um, and then... I'm going to give a couple swipes on this other side just so it adheres really well. Okay, so no flap side, flap side. I'm putting those together so all my bags are going in the same direction. I'm going to press those corners, I'm going to press the edges down, make sure it sticks really well. Okay, so you may want to pause the video here and go ahead and do all six of your bags in one stack and then glue all six of your bags in the other stack to each other and then start back from here and I will show you how to use the template to cut into your snowflake shape. Okay. All right. How'd that glue go? Good? Okay. From there, we are going to use our template. In your kit, you're going to have a long piece of paper. It's not cut like this, but you'll see lines. Um, and go ahead and grab your scissors and cut up along those lines to get this um, kind of arm, snowflake arm shape. From there, you're going to trace it on to your stack of paper bags. It doesn't matter if it's up or down, so long as you do it the same way on both stacks. Um, we want to make sure this line at the top is lined up with the top of your bag. You may have extra down here on your paper. Um, don't line up the bottom, line up the top. Okay, from there you can grab a pen or pencil, doesn't matter, and trace. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's going to be on the inside and you won't see this part. That's why pen is okay. Um, and go ahead and trace these lines, okay? And then you're gonna get some heavy duty scissors and go ahead and cut that part out. This is where it would be good to have a parent help. Um, by doing this in two batches, the cutting's not as hard as if you would have glued all 12 together. Um, 
but it can be a little tricky. If the bags shift a little bit as you're cutting, that's okay. This does not have to be perfect. It'll still turn out fine. Um, and of course, watch your fingers, all that good stuff while cutting so you don't get yourself. Okay, so one last cut here. And see how I did that and it kind of shifted a little bit and pulled back together. Um, make sure that end cuts well okay and here i'm just going to trim a little bit there we go okay let's brush all this out of the way. okay so we ended up with two stacks um to glue together so i'm going to grab my glue stick again and i'm going to glue these two stacks together flat side flap side right and i'm going to make sure all the bags are going in the same direction making sure I'm getting the edges again. The edges are the important part on this if you want it to finish um, neatly. So I'm getting the edges a little while in the middle here. Again, flap side, no flap side. So I'm gonna give a little bit to the flap side just so they adhere well to each other. Flap side down, lining those up, give them a good press. Okay, now I have all 12 of my bags stuck together. And this is where the fun sort of magic happens. Um, the one thing I would suggest you do before just opening it is to reach your hand into each of those bags one by one, I know. I know it slows down the fun part, but paper bags are glued together at the bottom and sometimes they stick to each other um, just out of an original packaging. So the opening part will go much better if you reach your hand in there and make sure they're not stuck. All right, two more to go. Okay, and then this opening part may work better if you have an extra set of hands. So if you have an extra hand in your house to help you, um, go ahead and call them in for this point. I trust you can do it on your own though. I am going to just stick the glue on right away. It doesn't matter which side you do it on. Um, working on those edges. Okay, from there, I'm gonna turn it on its side. That seems to help a little bit too. I'm gonna reach in this other bag on the end and I am going to open it up and give it a quick press, just enough to hold it so that I can spin it around and start working on pressing these edges together. So I'm in here and then I'm gonna reach my hands in those two bags and really press just like we pressed the bags when we glued them on their own and we wanted them to really stick to each other we're going to do that here i'm going to flip it over do the same thing here press those edges together press this one and then if you need a little glue stick help like here it feels like it got dry i'm going to add a little bit of glue stick here and a little bit on this side. Press those together. While I'm over here, I'm just kind of fluffing those creases. Make sure everyone's going the same direction. Okay, and if you see any of your other bags opening up a little bit, um, and if they feel like they need a little more glue, you can add it. But otherwise, these are just pretty as is. Let me flip it over one more time. Check that other side. Good. A little glue on this one. Okay. There she is. How cute is that? Um, and they're pretty big. Um, two bag lengths. If you would like to just sit this on your mantle or on a bookshelf, it's really pretty just as is. 
Um, but if you want to hang it, you will also find some string in your kit. Um, and you're going to want to feel around and look at which, you know, angle it looks prettiest. They're pretty symmetrical though, so you really can't go wrong here. Um, and this is when the hole punch comes into play, that optional hole punch. Um, if you are going to hang it for a couple weeks, um, I would either just grab my hole punch, punch a hole in it, run the string through. If you don't have a hole punch, you can fold this in half and just give it a quick snip with your scissors and that'll give you enough of a hole to run your string through as well. Um, but when we make them here at Best Whip and Tucker, we would like them to hang in the store December through February. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to reinforce our holes a little bit. Um, and to do that, I just need a couple pieces of tape. And I am going to put a piece on, see that piece on this side? And then another piece, and it's like an inch long-ish, on the other side. Hopefully they're lined up enough in there that it works. And then I'm going to grab my hole punch and hope it'll go through this tape and this bag. We'll see. Um, and I'm not going to go too far from the edge. I'm going to go down a little bit. That worked just fine. Can you see that? Okay. And then in your kit, you will find a piece of string. It is three feet long. So depending on how um, long you want to tie it, you can either tie it long um, and just run one piece of your string through like... like so and knot that to that one and leave it long or you can double it up like so and leave it hanging there and that'll hang about 18 inches long which would be a great length um, like in your window hanging off of a curtain rod. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website or social media and we can help you through your um, craft kit. Thanks so much. Have fun.